Hi, and welcome to Brian Zimanda, the therapist, the sex and wellness coach, a healthy and beauty therapist. We're here to help you grow better in health and in lifestyle, changing your life forever. Thank you so much for coming back always. For those who are returning, give us a thumbs up. And for the new ones, kindly, don't forget to subscribe that whenever we load up a video, you'll be able to see it. Don't forget to hit the bell. Thank you so much for always staying here with us. I'm Brian, the therapist. Um, today's topic, we're going to talk about hormonal imbalance. And this is one of the most frustrating things that has happened to many people and has disturbed them different ways from different people. But one of the dangers and the mistakes I notice many people that are struggling or dealing with hormonal imbalance is to think that hormonal imbalance is only reproductive health. That is a wrong thing because hormonal imbalance, the whole hormonal core, hormonal system, or the endocrine system is a general body balance. But 90% of the people suffering hormonal imbalance only deal with the manifestations. And in women, it can be through low libido, sexual dryness, or dryness. Uh, some people actually have a lot of breakout through skin. Some it could be a funny weight over bust. You gain weight at a high rate because you're not knowing what to do and what to address. So everything you're dealing with must have a reason. And when you attack it can help you recover or get sustainable difference or say sustainable results depending on how what you're dealing with. So when you're dealing with manifestations, you're going to want to do a simple basic. For example, for the ladies who are struggling with the reproductive health part, low libido, no sexual desire at all, dryness of the, of, of the place down there. You're going to need different things from someone whose hormonal imbalance is actually causing, say, weight gain. Another person when it's bringing skin issues and, and problems up there, some it comes in the form of not sleeping. Then we need to address where it's coming from. Stay with me as we go. One, if you are manifesting through sexual the reproductive health side, where you are a lady who is suffering dryness, you're going to need a few different things from one who is making the other. So let's start with what you need if you're dealing with reproductive health issues as a side effect of hormonal imbalance. You're going to get Sena leaves. Sena leaves will help you get the body flow you need. It will increase, first of all, your vaginal mucus. That way you're not going to struggle with dryness. It will help you also aid metabolism and blood circulation. That way your body will be feeling in a state of balance. The other thing you need as a woman suffering or struggling with productive health issues as a result of a mono imbalance is ladies' mantle. Ladies' mantle can be used in a number of things. Though most people who are using ladies' mantle, they're using it for libido, for, for, for water, for uh, dealing with dryness. It has a lot more benefits. One, it activates your adrenal function. Another thing it also does, there's a way it, it increases your body warmth and redirecting all the hot flashes. Because some people who are going through uh, this old system, depending on age, they could have hot flashes. So ladies' mantle can still help you. All you need is just a teaspoon of ladies' mantle in a cup of hot water at least three times a week. That will help you deal with the reproductive health part of the story in your hormonal imbalance struggles. Another thing could be spirulina. Spirulina is a green component. It's a very good chlorophyll. And we know if you're dealing with hormonal imbalance, the chlorophyll plays its, own, its very, very important part in your life. So when you get any chlorophyll, it will be helpful. But then, because spirulina has the biggest form of iron, which is going to help you with every problem to do with hormonal imbalance. So you can take your spirulina on a regular basis, at least four times a week and skip and go another way. Another thing that can help you if your manifestation is reproductive health in your problem with the hormonal imbalance is asparagus. Asparagus also, one of the things it does, it has a way of blocking your tubes. Most people actually suffer blocked tubes, cystic tendencies as a result of hormonal imbalance. Asparagus is one of the best. Dealing with that, first of all, it flashes because it speeds up blood circulation. Another thing it has is a very good uh, it's another another code of a response. It has a high folic acid. It has a high rate of folate. So if you're dealing with a hormone imbalance in the reproductive health, 
as far as will be the best. Now, coming back to places where you're dealing with hormonal imbalance in different forms, uh, for example, if it is skin related, uh, if it is uh, you're breaking out, one of the things you need to start doing is licorice. Licorice, one of those balancing hormones very beautifully. And because one of the other advantages of licorice is it's, it's an emollient. An emollient is one that keeps water in your system. It helps you increase hydration to your skin. And before you know it, your skin is getting back to back and back. So while you're dealing with these things, because when you're breaking out, what most people rush to do is deal with the acne, deal with the acne, deal with the face problems. We will do a video down there. For, for comment, you can comment down if you get a video about the acne itself. Comment down and, and we will read through and find out what you need for that. As we continue dealing with the hormonal imbalance at home, simply, if it's manifesting in giving you a lot of weight issues, uh, slowed metabolism, because one of the things people never understand is hormonal imbalance or the endocrine system has the pineal gland, the thyroid gland, adrenal gland, and the prostate gland. So when you are weight, you're getting weight or you're gaining weight as a result of hormonal imbalance, that means you need to also check your thyroid functional test or the thyroid because that means you are going to have slowed metabolism. And for whatsoever you're going to be using as a weight loss program, it may not work for you because when you eat, you do not get enough to get up because metabolism is slowed. And when your metabolism is slowed, you can't have anything so verbal. So that means you're going to go through things that are going to help you with boosting your metabolism. So how do you boost your metabolism after you realize that things are not going out? So if your hormones are reacting that way, um, one of the best things to start with would be, uh, um, uh, would, would be, uh, Will be one, one of it is cayenne, cayenne powder or cayenne pepper. Another would be cinnamon, and another would be turmeric powder. Those three combinations will really help you with boosting your metabolism and helping you deal with the effect of body weight as a result of hormonal imbalance. While turmeric helps you wash and lower down your cholesterol builder. The other thing is because turmeric penetrates and breaks every fat easily, you're going to have solvable issues quickly. So when you're dealing with a hormonal imbalance, and as a result, you're gaining weight, those three should be at your table. Turmeric, uh, cinnamon powder, and cayenne. Put those together. If you're uncomfortable with cayenne because sometimes it's hot, you can eliminate the cayenne and put ginger in there to speed up metabolism. That way, you're going to have issues that are helping you. And again, for those people who are struggling with a hormonal imbalance, and the result is actually manifesting in, say, tiredness, that's when your pineal gland is affected. You're, you're tired and what you call, it's what you call brain, uh, um, what you call neuroplasticity. At the rate your brain can hold some information or something. Some people doze at the slightest, do, at, at the slightest waiting or sitting somewhere and they start dozing. Some actually have issues with sleep or insomnia. That means you have a bit of calcification of your pineal gland. So that's also something related to the hormones. So when you're dealing with something to do with the pineal gland or your brain power or stuff that has to be related to your sleep pattern, one, the first thing you're going to do in that area, because some this actually affects people who are close to their menopause. Their, their, their menopause gets so bad that they cannot even sleep sometimes, they lose sleep. So how you deal with that is you're going to get vanilla. Vanilla could be in any form, could be in a powder or in an oil form. Whatever you drink, put some vanilla. Vanilla has a way of sparring and connecting your all uh, uh, melatonin for you to be able to sleep very well. So do vanilla. And another hack could be have enough water, drink enough water. That way, so that your brain doesn't get tired. When you have brain dehydration, you one going to have a lot of headaches. Another, you're going to be able, you know, you won't be able to sleep in the right time at the right times. So that way, if you're dealing with hormonal imbalance related to your brain problems, your sleep patterns, some people get irritable and snap like that they are out there. Some become very forgetful. Then you're going to need flax seeds. Flax seeds, they have a high, a high amount of grammage of zinc. The more you take the flax seed in, they're going, they have actually a lot of uh, omega-3 and omega-9. Omega-3 and 9, which is very good with your brain function and power and muscle strength. That way you're going to need flaxseed, both in, you can have it in oil form. Some people that use the oil, the flaxseed oil, you drop it on your tongue for like two to three, four, four, 
um, drops, it will help you aid the whole pattern of zinc production in your system. Another thing you can also do besides fluxate, some people actually find it more fun to do hemp seeds. You could do hemp seeds. This will help you sleep better. You powder them, a teaspoon of uh, hemp seeds. If you can chew them, that would be beautiful. But if you powder them and add them on warm water, that way you're going to deal with all issues to do with mono imbalance. So mono imbalance manifesting differently must be dealt with in a different angle. So just in case for you want to us to do a different video on acne or a different video on weight management, as a result of mono imbalance, just comment down and we'll do that video next. Thank you so much. Just in case you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so that when we load a video, you'll see it. Always wonderful to stay with you. Thank you so much, Brian Samanda, the therapist, for your all beautiful, beautiful things. Thank you. God bless you.